WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. You've got the U.S. Uh, uh, Dow. Uh, the Dow Jones is off 670 points, about 2%. A little over 2% for the S&P, or 86 points. Nearly 3% for the NASDAQ 100, 322. The Russell's off about 2% at 35 points to the downside. Gold's off 30 bucks. Silver is down 73 cents. Light sweet crude is off 75 pennies. Natural gas is up a nickel. And the 30-year Treasury up one point, trade out at 132.04. If we go take a look at our nine-panel market update chart, we begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. What we can see at the moment is price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile, as well as very close to the bottom of its consolidation. I would say the consolidation would definitely be broken with a close below 39.45.50 or 39.40 right now. Now, what that would do, and we'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show, is set up a, uh, a measured move, a consolidation breakdown measured move. Now, the interesting thing about suggesting that we're going to at least make a measured move to the downside is the fact the spot volatility X is still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. So we've got a divergence here. I'm not sure how to deal with it. Uh, 2398 is the 50-day exponential moving average. The NQ trading below the bottom of its daily profile and as well I would say a close here below 11.535.50 would go ahead and uh, create a, a consolidation breakdown as well. Now the US dollar index, you don't see it on this chart but there's a road momentum indicator signal. You can certainly visualize the A to B equals CD pattern. We most certainly at this stage at 11.01 in the morning, we've got a bullish uh, engulfing candle. We've got a key reversal candle. Now what price is dealing with here is resistance, which is the bottom of the profile. So if price is able to close above 104.23, we likely have a signal from the dollar of a bottom. Well, that should continue to put pressure on uh, the U.S. equities. It should put pressure on gold and silver. Gold's trading lower. It's trading back with inside its daily profile. Its next downside target, if it closed below 1775.60, would be in the 1734 to 1756 range. Silver's got a new profile. It's attempting to form its level of support from a daily perspective is 2263. Like to be accrued, even though we've got an A to B equals CD pattern drawn in here, price is trading above the top of its daily profile. Even though it's pulling back, that's still a bullish message. Hey, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.